what I find and see every day. Wherever I am, wherever I'm staying or living or camping or something, I get out and go for a walk somewhere, but generally it's on the beach because that's local here. And you know, I go down to look at the, the tides and observe the horizon and see what's happening in the sky and the ships. Seaweeds and crabs and shells, and vegetation and wildlife, like birds and things like that. You know, I'm lucky to find some dead birds, lucky but unlucky, because uh, you know, it's always sad when you find them. Generally, what's washed up will determine what I do that day. Sounds like our beach is constantly throwing dead stuff up regularly, but it's not really. But it means I get to observe them up closely and, pull, you know, examine them, see what they die from or see what's happened to them and check them out. If there's something out in the shipping world, out on the horizon, well, that's another inspiration. And I usually take an, an, you know, it usually takes a diversion to my day. I'll go out there and have a look at the ship, and take photos and things like that. And then I'll go for a swim, <laughs> nice life. I'll go for a swim at Macquarie or at Sorrento and just swim along with what's, you know, a beautiful day. You get, you know, get to see all the fish. Garfish and crabs and all sorts of things hiding in the weeds, but then because it's a lovely flat surface, there'll be flounder and stingrays and fiddler rays and yeah, a bevy of sea life down there. Seahorses, I've seen seahorses there. Apparently the dolphins come in really close too because they're squid and salmon and things like that they feed on. And then sometimes I found you know a huge lot of garfish washed up on the beach, which apparently will be the dolphins driving them ashore, so I've been told so. Yeah, it's nice that they come in close too. You know, my studio is my place of work. I come into my studio every day and I'll either be working on commissions or I'll be working on a painting. I'll be working from notes like a sketchbook. You know, I've got my ship spotting book. I, I'll be working on this every day, adding a ship to it. Depends where I am. Just usually one on the bay or Portland or somewhere. I have a sketchbook which a lot of thumbnail sketches in, you know, little ideas, things come to me and sometimes I'll work out the actual compositions which, are, you know, is like a reference point, I come back to it all the time. I went to Fiji and did a residency with Peter Lancaster to do some litho printing. It was really fabulous, I, um, it was really productive but it was a, hol a really good holiday as well, uh, definitely going back. I love starting a new drawing. That's actually where I get really yeah, excited to start. You just start a new drawing and work out the drawing, and work out the layout and work it all out and, and it comes together and I really get excited. I start on it and, if, and then try, you know, try to be spontaneous. If you work for too long, they lose their freshness, especially with watercolour because you, you know, they, if you want them to bleed in as, it's great when it, you do that, but other times you don't. So you have to walk away or you go and work on another piece and, yeah, generally take a break and then come back and go, oh, that needs that now, or I need that one needs to be darker, or that one needs to be put there. It's, it's what I see every day, it's what I observe, it's recording, just documenting what I see.